Next, let's preview the surface mesh generated by the computer. Right click on Mesh and Preview Surface Mesh. The purpose of previewing the surface mesh is to see how the mesh goes so that we can add more constraints to it to make the mesh more reliable. It might take a minute or two for the computer to generate the mesh. And once the mesh has been generated, click on Mesh and you shall be able to preview the surface mesh. And notice that there is this button here that says Show Mesh. And if you click on it, it will turn the mesh off. And if you click on it again, it will show you the mesh that has been generated for your preview. And here, one thing we can notice is that there are regions where the mesh is extremely dense. And this is actually the boundary between the virtual topology cells. And that's not what we actually need. So we need to make adjustments for there to be less dense cells. Another thing we may notice is that there isn't an, a layer of dense cells around the walls. So it will not be very accurate to tell us what's going on with the uh, at the region near the wall, which is actually very important in fluid dynamics. Thus, the next things we're going to do is to add body sizing and inflation to fix this problem. 